Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The big time has finally arrived. Jason is back. Spoilers for the Monday, March 4, 2024 episode of General Hospital include difficult talks, a dramatic escape, and an even larger return. Do not miss this episode. Previously, Jason Morgan attempted to rescue Drew's life, jeopardizing his own safety. Everyone in Port Charles assumed Sonny's right-hand man was dead after he was discovered buried under rubble on Cassadine Island. But this is G.H., after all. Stone Cold returns following a complex plot involving stolen WSB weaponry, mobsters being targeted across the country, and Sonny's own trust circle betraying him. But the fundamental question remains, what is Jason returning to? Will he be the same guy who defended Sonny and Carly's, Laura Wright, children with every ounce of his being? Is he the puppet master in this deadly situation? Is someone else yanking the strings? With Jason's return, another concern arises, how will Sonny deal with his presence? But initially, the mob boss is angry, and his anger spikes every 2.3 seconds. Once again, Selena and Sonny collaborate. However, their negotiations are abruptly terminated. Will that make Sonny see red? Meanwhile, another deadly person attempts to escape from prison. Heather Weber wants out. Will her endeavor be successful? Is Kevin concerned about whether she will make it out? Because the last time she spoke with him, she wasn't pleased with him. She definitely resented him. Someone else in danger, Cyrus Renault. Who should he keep an eye on? Laura is his sister, of course. How will the born-again Christian respond when she confronts him about his numerous sins? Finally, Brooklyn recognizes that, while her grandmother might be pushy and controlling, she understands that the majority of her actions are motivated by love and protection for family. They did, however, have a moving moment when Tracy donated her granddaughter Leela's wedding dress to wear at her own wedding. Why is Brooke Lynn confiding in Tracy? Is she anxious about getting married? Does she agree that Chase should sign a prenup? Perhaps it has something to do with deception. A fan favorite returns to Port Charles. Spoilers for the week of March 4. March 8 on General Hospital reveal the return of a fan favorite, shocking some people of Port Charles while putting others in danger. Episode 15,418 on Monday, March 4, 2024, Jason returns to Port Charles. The negotiation between Selena and Sonny is abruptly interrupted. Laura confronts Cyrus, Brooke Lynn confides in Tracy, and Heather attempts an escape. Jocelyn and Dex are in a panic scenario. Sonny hits a sensitive place with John, and Anna hears some sad news. Marshall informs Curtis about his misdiagnosis. Laura behaves quickly in a crisis. Anna questions Jocelyn and Dex. Olivia and Sonny reconnect. Alexis is hesitant. Cody and Sasha both make a confession. Spinelli and Ava are in for a shock. Sonny and Ava enjoy an intense encounter. Drew and Carly have their hands full. Maxie is stunned. Laura provides comfort. Brooke Lynn opens up to Jordan. Carly was taken aback. Nina confronts Ava. Sonny receives an update on John's investigation. Michael tries to encourage Dex to stay. Alexis vented to Diane. From memory lapses to fleeing lovers, Jason Morgan is back to General Hospital, and fans have suspicions. Set your DVR for Monday, March 4 because Jason Morgan, played by Steve Burton, will make his long-awaited return to General Hospital. However, a fan-favorite character's return usually sparks fan theories, and here are the best ones surrounding the return that is set to rock Port Charles. Jason was last seen on GH in 2021, fighting Peter during a showdown in Crete, and was assumed dead after a tunnel collapsed on him. Prior to the collapse, he was able to save Liesel, his brother Drew, and his love interest Brit. An unexpected love story. The first hypothesis about Jason's reappearance that has circulated the internet involves the return of another character. 
Before Jason died, he had an unexpected affair with Dr. Britt Westbone. Britt's final narrative involved her being diagnosed with Huntington's disease, which she inherited from her father Faison, Anders Hove, who was shot by Jason. He would eventually perish at Peter's hands. Jason was the only one who persuaded Britt to get tested for Huntington's disease, and he was able to soothe her during the process. Though Britt died in 2022 at the hands of the hook, we all know that no one dies on soap operas, so it's very conceivable Britt survived her injuries and fled to join Jason, where the two have been blissfully hiding ever since. Paging Dr. Jason Quartermain When SOA's Jason returned to Port Charles in 1991, he rapidly became recognized as the family's favorite Quartermain, kind-hearted, athletic, and aspiring doctor. However, his car accident with A.G. altered the trajectory of his life when he lost all memory of his time as a quartermain, exchanging a stethoscope for a leather jacket and a medical career for a life in the mob. Is it possible that the collapse reversed his brain injury and restored his memories as Jason Quartermain? When he returns, the inhabitants of Port Charles expect him to get on his Harley and resume his position as Sonny's right-hand man, which would be the ultimate twist. This notion would breathe new life into the beloved character, possibly even allowing Jason to spend the rest of his life as the G.H. doctor he was destined to be. G.H. viewers have known for months that someone somewhere is after Sonny. After multiple attempts on his and his family's lives, it was discovered, following an interview with Lie of Selena's group, that the mastermind behind the attacks goes by the name Stone. When Sonny first heard the name, he immediately thought of his late friend Stone Cates, Michael Sutton. After all, Stone's brother Jagger recently showed up in Port Charles. But what if Stone is someone's favorite nickname? Jason earned the nickname Stone Cold as one of Spinelli's many nicknames for the residents of Port Charles. It would be the ideal disguise as he attempts to take down Sonny and the rest of the mob, possibly while in a tarot card-induced trance. Which one of these fan ideas do you believe will come true? Please let us know in the comments below. The GH fan favorite has lost a loved one. On General Hospital, Robin had several godfathers, including Scene, Frisco, and Buzz. In real life, Fanola Hughes, who plays Anna on television, is paying tribute to her late mother, Bailey Collins. My godfather right here brought so much sweetness, laughter, and love into my childhood, I couldn't wait for him to visit. Hughes shared on Instagram. My parents and brother adored him. The actress praised the actor's exceptional understanding of the water and ability to impersonate cork Irishmen and aunties. She also praised him for being surrounded by love throughout his life. Rest easy, my Bailey. You confronted life with extraordinary grace and fortitude and brought delight to all of us. My heartfelt sympathies to his lovely wife, Lucy, his children Louisa, Daniel, Robert, and Joseph, and sister Sharon. According to Dignity Funerals in the United Kingdom, Collins died on February 9th at the age of 78. The Royal National Lifeboat Institution accepts charitable donations. Hughes received supportive comments from some of her daytime friends. I'm very sorry for your loss, wrote Rebecca Budig. Laura Wright communicated her feelings with three heart emojis. Soap Hub expresses heartfelt condolences to Hughes and Collins' families and friends during this difficult time. General Hospital spoilers and updates for Monday, March 4 include confidences, interruptions, and ghosts from the past. Brooklyn Quartermain confides in her grandmother, Sonny Corinthos' negotiations are disrupted, and Dante Falconery sees a ghost from the past. Brooke Lynn confides in her grandma Tracy Quartermain at the Quartermain home while they eat cake at a table. Tracy remarks that it is a scheme worthy of a Quartermain, and the two are most likely discussing Brooke Lynn's imminent wedding. There may also be some discussion about what happens next, as a later reception is scheduled for Bensonhurst. Tracy is clearly fond of her grandchild, and they do share some characteristics. They don't always agree, but Tracy was compelled to give Brooke Lynn the traditional quartermain gown. Cyrus Reynolds and Laura Collins appear to be in the hospital, 
And despite Laura's angry expression, Cyrus inquires as to what prompted this new phase in their relationship. Laura's harsh expression may be due to additional ground rules and restrictions Cyrus must follow. She had already advised him not to just stop by, but to phone first, and that any visits would have to be scheduled. When he last came by, he wanted to visit Ace Prince Cassadine, but wasn't allowed to. Laura, however, is not the only one having a horse in that race. As she reminded him, Ace is Kevin Collins' great nephew, and he has a say. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.